Hello, everybody. Very, I'm very happy to see you all here and um, to have the Triple F and um, the Triple F showcase uh, starting today. What I will do is uh, to talk to you a bit uh, about the present Triple F implementations within large scale infrastructures. We serve at the Göttingen State and University Library to support research and especially the digital humanities. Um, I'm uh, leading the research infrastructures program at the research and development department of the um, library here. And so um, what I will show you a bit what we are doing here. But for a start to indicate um, the importance of IIIF uh, in this interdisciplinary field, we can look at the most important international conference organized by the Alliance of Digital Humanities Organizations and search just for the term IIIF in the conference books of abstracts. And if you look up uh, over the past few years, uh, we can see here starting at um, DH 2013 conference, um, there is an increasing number of hits from 0105 to then really 22, um, 28, and in last year's conference in Mexico, 46 mentions of um, IIIF in the books of abstract. Here at the Göttingen State and University Library, we started in 2013 working with IIIF, um, first in a project called Shared Canvas Implementation, and launched our first IIIF image server and corresponding presentation API for the TextGrid infrastructure which I will talk a bit uh, later on also, um, in 2014. So since then, we are steadily increasing the use of IIIF framework in our projects. And just to present you the latest one, um, it's a project focusing on really outstanding material. The project is called Maps of God. It was recently launched and is going to use and extend our IIIF uh, implementation for preparing annotations on large scrolls. To encode and annotate the Kabbalistic tree in its variety of manifestations um, is the goal of the project. And together with partners from Israel, we are going to prepare the platform for the topographical encoding and the semantic annotation of the large parchment scrolls and also smaller forms. And to set up a database like this, we will use, of course, um, a combination of state-of-the-art technologies, and IIIF really plays a major role here. We can build upon the infrastructure and experience um, that we have developed in the last years, and which I will present you a little bit. We provide um, digital infrastructures especially, but not only for the digital humanities um, here at the SUB. And within two national joint ventures, we started early on and um, continue, um, which are Daria DE and TextGrid. Um, first on Daria DE, um, it's the Germany's it's Germany's contribution to the European-wide collaboration between universities, memory institutions, computing centers, and so on, for a digital research infrastructure for the arts and humanities. And um, Daria DE operates a repository as a digital long-term archive for human and cultural scientific research data. And this is a central component of a whole research data federation architecture, which aggregates various services and applications. And of course, um, for image objects, um, we are basing, uh, it's based on uh, IIIF. It uses um, the IIIF APIs for the publication of image objects. The presentation API is fed by um, Aura RDF metadata and collections metadata entered um, via the web application. And on websites um, describing the published data, we serve image previews via the image API as in the following example, and it's really any kind of uh, images um, from research data that we feed here. This, for example, is a visualization of the network of publications and the field of computer vision and pattern recognition stored in the Daria DE repository. It could be um, any image. The Daria DE repository is a more generic version of the TextGrid repository, which we started first and recommend for textual data, like digital scholarly editions. 
TextGrid offers a long-term archive to explore textual resources and their facsimiles with the help of IIIF via the DGLib image server, and the presentation API is prepared by converting Mets mods or TI files and uses a specific metadata schema based on FRBR. Currently, we are hosting 459 manifests um, um, for the presentation API, and our image server provides access to uh, 183,000 resources. Um, as we are usually not ourselves the content provider, it is, of course, uh, up to the community to increase the number. Currently, there are seven projects taking advantage of these functionalities. Besides others, the domains covered here are history, codicology, and German literature. And an example can be found in a pretty new publication where TI data is available. The TI file is equipped with links to the facsimiles, and for these files, the HTML present representation in the repository offers a link to the manifest um, and to a view in Mirador 2. The TextScript repository is supplemented by a client software, the TextScript laboratory, and together they are forming a virtual research environment, um, which uh, is, provides serving tools for preparing digital scholarly editions. TextScript is made for text-based humanities and stands for interoperability by design, so obviously um, that's why the IIIF implementation at, um, for the repository really started as early as in 2013. And addressing the whole research data life cycle, many other tools are offered uh, preparing the data, and um, I just uh, picked out uh, those um, who are IIIF-related uh, uh, tools from that uh, tool chain. We support several ways to ingest data to the TextGrid ecosystem, all well documented, and for some formats, we are replacing file references by URI during the ingest so as to make them referenceable over the web. The image server is available to the client as well and to prepare and combine the resources, and we have a text image link editor who is ready, which is ready to con to connect textual data and XML files with sections of images via shape marks layered upon the image. With a graphical user interface, you can then select shapes on an image and connect it to an XML resource. We provide this tool since 2011 already and use TI files to, to store the information. And now the next step, um, obviously, is moving this tool forward to open annotation and IIIF which is now to come, and uh, colleagues of mine will, pre went, will present a prototype um, in their talk uh, here in the conference on Thursday, combining TI and IIIF in a virtual research environment. So, really, we are um, building on IIIF as core for all our research infrastructures and um, all our projects, and I can tell you, um, you can take advantage of all what uh, has been mentioned before. It's great work and great fun with IIIF in the research and digital humanities community. And thanks for listening.